So we just got done shooting for this shirt. Swag nasty. Wait, whoa. <laughs> this is my wife. We had our engagement photos today. I gave her that ring. <laughs> Sorry, Nick. But this ain't from you. So yeah, now we're about to go eat some Chipotle. Chicken. Chicken bowls. Chicken bowls. So I'm home now. It is so cold outside. Like the high this morning when I woke up was supposed to be 10 degrees more than what it is now. And then I reevaluated and checked the weather again. And they changed the high to our low. So I'm freezing. I'm home. I decked out in my Chris Hi Hank. My elf pajamas and my Santa socks because like Christmas, you know what I'm saying? He wants to play so bad, but he hasn't been released yet. Like he still has stitches. So this is what he does. <laughs> he plays by himself because we won't fetch with him because we don't want him to run. This is my very funky Christmas tree. Like it looked a lot better last year. I wanted a skinny tree this year. It's just got these limbs. <laughs> so awkward and I also let Nick help me decorate the tree this year um I'm very picky I like ornaments to be in the right place but I wanted him to participate in whatever I can always go back and fix it I guess but I'll try not to be controlling like that um so yeah I'm going to study for my personal training certification my ace book right now catch up on some vlogs because that's what I like to do and I play with my hair too much in these videos. I'm going to try to stop that. Put her stockings there this year. I don't know how I feel about it. Whatever. It's not that serious because it's going to be taken down soon because we are hopefully moving to a new house. Hopefully. So, yeah. Anywho. Happy Saturday. Hope it's beautiful. <laughs> Happy Sunday, y'all. Um, say that was, I think, the last video I posted. Um, we just did set up with our church, and now we are headed to the gym. He peed his pants, so he had to change. Rock around, to rock around, that's right, on time is tricky. It's tricky, 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 tricky. So instead of playing some remix music this video, I wanted to do a voiceover. I started off by warming up just because it was cold outside and I just needed to wake up because it was super early. This first exercise is some cable squat pull-throughs. It's a great glute exercise for bending over, activating those glutes while still getting some activation in your hamstrings. It is important to remember to actually squeeze at the top and stretch out those hamstrings and glutes when you come up. It's great, it's unique, it's better than just your average squat, so I would highly recommend it. Second, I moved on to some walking lunges. I did three sets of 20, no, I'm sorry, take that back. I did four sets of 20, and here it's just really important to remember to keep that right angle so that way you are activating your quads and also stretching your glutes out to maximize your glute activation as well as your quads. Um, like I said, three sets of 20, it's just, I don't know. Sometimes it can be taxing on some people's knees, but if you're keeping proper form and doing the reps and sets that suit you, you should not have too many issues. After doing the um, walking lunges, I then moved on to some dumbbell Romanian deadlifts. Um, I did four sets of 10 per each leg. Granted, I did start off with low weight and I worked my way up each set just because you know, I wanted to make sure I could actually keep good balance. It is important with the dumbbell Romanian deadlifts that you do move slow so that way you are maintaining your balance while also getting hamstring activation. Um, you don't want to be wobbly. You don't want to be moving fast or else you're not going to be activating your hamstrings the way you want to be. And you will also get some slight glute um, activation during this exercise. 
So I split it up. I did single legs per each leg. It was a great burn. By the end of the four sets, you definitely will fill it if you're using proper form. After the Romanian single leg deadlifts, I then moved on to a superset of curtsy lunges and cable good mornings. Um, cough, cough. I would just like to say I did not record these videos myself. I used someone whose name shall not be named, cough, Nicholas Murphy, my husband. Somehow using someone else to record your videos still gets your head chopped off. So with these curtsy lunges, yet again, you are activating your glutes, but you are working the outer muscle group of your glutes, helping to give you more of that rounded shape to your butt. Um, these cable hamstring or cable good mornings, I'm sorry, they will activate your hamstrings, but it's also important to squeeze your glutes through the lower bend all the way to the top. Um, so that way you're getting the flex and activation you need to grow your hamstrings and your glutes. Sec or second, sorry, almost last. These were some cable ham curls. Name kind of gives it away. You are using the cable machine to do ham curls to activate your hamstrings and grow that. Then you're going to move on to cable kickbacks. I did three sets of 10 ham curls and then three sets of 12 kickbacks. Now here it's important to kind of lean over straight because you don't want to strain your back while doing the kickbacks. Well, let me tell you y'all, this last part of my workout kicked my ass. It burnt. Therefore, if you are giving this workout your all, you should not have a problem feeling a burn in your legs at the end. All right, so we finished our morning workout, Sunday morning. Um, got ready super fast. We're going back to church to actually go to church, tear down, and now we're going to watch football at Twin Peaks, which is like classy hooters, I guess. This beautiful song. It's making me a smoothie. Oh my god, look at how messy our house looks. Our house looks so messy in this. Sorry, guys. Um. And this video is kind of ruined by how messy our house is right now. Oh, side note. We put an offer on a house and we have inspection tomorrow to find out if like everything's okay and we can move forward. If so, we move in the beginning of January and I'm so excited to finally have our own home. Speaking of the inspection. Bitch your cheese. Yeah, I had one of those moments last night where I woke up in the middle of the night or I, well, I didn't wake up because I wasn't asleep yet.